Prissy Holly at Right Wing Tribune, two-time presidential loser John McCain's obsessive jealousy of Trump has been on display since the day our new president was sworn into office. The 81-year-old traitor should have been put out to pasture long ago, but because term limits for U.S. senators don't exist, the dried-up old schmuck has been spending every waking hour plotting on ways to bring Trump down. Several days ago, the brain-rotting old fart came out with his latest asinine claim against President Trump saying in an interview with Esquire that he doesn't support Trump as president because he doesn't think the president has a set of principles and beliefs. But just days after McCain decided to throw mud at Trump from his ivory tower, a disturbing skeleton from McCain's past is now starting to emerge, proving who really lacks principles in Washington, D.C. The past several months have been ridden with scandals surrounding many well-known liberals. We learn that Al Franken and Harvey Weinstein have really abused women for decades. Matt Lauer of The Today Show was fired from the network, as disgusting details surfaced about how he'd routinely turn his office into a lair and had a secret button under his desk installed so he could lock the doors from the inside. Now it appears as though John McCain is the latest creep to join these Yule perverts, at the same time that McCain hypocritically called for Roy Moore to exit Alabama's U.S. When it comes to John McCain's decisions, we've learned from his past antics that he's always out for himself and he has little regard for his own political party, his family, or his constituents. Now it's being revealed how McCain allegedly cheated on his wife of 37 years, after having an improper relationship with lobbyist Vicki Eisman. A female lobbyist had been turning up with him at fundraisers, visiting his offices and accompanying him on a client's corporate jet. Convinced the relationship had become romantic, some of his top advisors intervened to protect the candidate from himself, instructing staff members to block the woman's access privately warning her away and repeatedly confronting him. Several people involved in the campaign said on the condition of anonymity, but this is just the beginning of John McCain's disgusting Ewell escapades as you will soon see. You're probably familiar with McCain's pal story, where in October of 1967, he was shot down and captured by the North Vietnamese and kept as a prisoner of war until 1973. McCain would use his pal story and veteran status to rise to political prominence, where his image as a Vietnam War hero would go on to propel him to be elected as a United States senator. But the real story about is about John McCain's first wife Carol, who toiled and waited for six years in torment, not knowing if her husband would ever return home. As John McCain was held in captivity, his wife Carol was involved in a terrible car crash that left her disfigured and wheelchair-bound where she put on a considerable amount of weight. But John McCain would soon discard his first wife like a piece of trash, disgusted with how she now looked. The Daily Mail reported, when McCain returned to America in 1973 to a fanfare of publicity and a handshake from Richard Nixon, he discovered his wife had been disfigured in a terrible car crash three years earlier. Her car had skidded on icy roads into a telegraph pole on Christmas Eve, 1969. Her pelvis and one arm were shattered by the impact and she suffered massive internal injuries. Today, she stands up just 5 ft 4 in and still walks awkwardly, with a pronounced limp. Her body is held together by screws and metal plates and, at 70. Her face is worn by wrinkles that speak of decades of silent suffering. John McCain's first wife who he dumped for a younger blonde, 18 years his junior Carol was no longer the famous beauty and swimsuit model that McCain had married in 1965, and he callously kicked her to the curb for a younger wife. McCain divorced Carol and married Cindy just one month later. Cindy was not only beautiful and 18 years his junior, but also the heiress to an Arizona brewing fortune. The couple met when John McCain was still married to ex-wife Carol. John McCain married Cindy five weeks after his divorce from Carol, who happened to be close friends with the Reagans, Heavy.com reported. John McCain is the last person on the face of the planet who needs to be lecturing anyone about their principles given his shady past involving women. Be sure to share this story and help expose John McCain for the crooked man that he is. Not only is he a traitor to our country, but he's slimeball in his personal life as well. Trigger warning, Prissy Holly is a conservative journalist, 
professional she tea starter and disgruntled military vet who is very outspoken and doesn't give a flying crap about your feelings when exposing the truth. If you want your daily dose of news delivered in the most politically incorrect way as possible, make sure you follow Prissy here. Be sure to follow us on Nation in Distress and America's Freedom Fighters on Facebook.